Okay. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> Welcome everyone to uh, the cooking show or however you want to call this thing. Today we're going to cook the gotcha pork roast from Food Wars. And um, where's the where's the mint? Anyways, I mean we're not following the recipe from the book. Anyways, oh thank you. Okay, so this is. In the book, they do have it, but it's kind of different. So, uh, let me find it. Here it is. So the uh, the gotcha pork roast in the anime is not pork; it's potato. But here in the book, they have actual like pork. So we're not gonna do that. So intentionally, we're not gonna follow the recipe. <laughs> Again, but we are watching a tutorial on how to how to do it over there. So hopefully by watching the tutorial video we'll be able to make it. Because we want to get it as close as possible to to the anime. We're professionals here. We're gonna need potatoes, mushrooms, onions, and minced garlic, just for starters. So first, what you want to do is grab a knife. Then, you're going to uh, cut your potatoes uh, in big chunks. ¿No los vas a lavar? First, you wash your potatoes. First, uh, obviously, you wash your potatoes. So we're going to wash about uh, this many. Yeah, I guess, oh, it's a sick potato. I guess this looks about right. So you wash it. I like to do it the old fashioned way, just like this with like, just rinsing water and everything. Some people like to put in the dishwasher. You can do that too, but you know, to each his own. So now that your potatoes are like clean, uh, we're gonna cut them in like big chunks, kind of irregular too, like this. Doesn't have to be uh, anything precise. So I'll allow you to not be to not be precise today. There you go. Just you know. Somewhere in there. <laughs> you want to keep your area, uh, your work area clean. Uh, that hence the um, uh, the bug destroyer nine thousand. Uh, okay, so now that you've cut your potatoes, we're going to put them on a steamer. Are they gonna fit? I don't know. Do I care? No. Yeah, kind of. All right, I do. Uh, let's fill it up with a little bit of water. And we're going to just let it let it do its thing for um, 15, 20 minutes. I think that's what the video said. All right, in the meantime, we're going to chop an onion and two mushrooms. Now, the original recipe from the video said that we needed king something mushrooms. But I live in Bumblefuck, Georgia, so it's not like we have access to like fancy things. Uh, therefore, I'm using portobello mushrooms. Is it going to change the flavor? Maybe. 
Do I care? Nah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm not into domestic violence. Let's cut this bitch. Uh, also, uh, keep a timer, just so you know, like... What is this? Alright, 20 minutes, Mark. God bless you, my son. Work smart, not hard. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, so now that we have the onion um, evenly and precisely chopped, come on. No, come on, come on. Uh, We're gonna. Put it in a container. <laughs> okay, now that there's that, we're gonna chop the, uh, oh shit, it's kinda frozen. Um, okay. We're gonna do the same with the mushrooms now. Uh, you wash the mushrooms, obviously, like that's common sense. Why wouldn't you wash the mushrooms? Look at all the shit that's coming out of it. Feels slimy, not gonna lie. You know, you spank. Uh, and then we, we, we do the same. We, we chop it. Today, uh, bugs are rampant. They know how delicious this is going to be, so they wanna, the one. They wanna... <laughs> you wanna make sure that it's not like super, super thick, but it's not like super thin either. Boom, 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 boom. boom. And then uh, we're going to add about two clovers Clover worth of uh, garlic to um, to the onion. So it's gonna be about this much. Do I know for sure? No. Do I care? No. So we have. 12 minutes and 30 seconds before the uh, potatoes are good and once they are we'll take them out peel them <laughs> okay okay shut the <laughs> okay, so we dump the potatoes, the ones that survive. Um, rest in peace to... <coughs> okay. 
<clears throat> yeah, it's it's going <laughs> it's going with the recipe for sure. Um <laughs> ah, it's hot. Alright. So now that we have our potatoes, we have to peel them. Uh so that's gonna be fun. They're pretty hot too. Ah oh, shit. So here I am peeling the peeling the potatoes as you can see uh, masterfully done needless to say um, you, you you see how just like it's, it's amazing the, the skill that it, it takes um, but I would be doing it faster if if someone wasn't playing Dark Souls over there he's losing by the way so yeah uh, I'm peeling the uh, the potatoes with one hand if you were if you were wondering, that's, I like the challenge, you know. Okay, so the potatoes are done. Um, I would continue with the recipe, but. Oh, yeah, he died. Again. Yeah. <laughs> so now that the potatoes are peeled masterfully and completely evenly, uh, we're gonna transfer them to uh, to, to this pot. All right, there it is. Uh, and what we're going to do now is uh, we're gonna smash them. We're gonna we're gonna start doing the uh, the old smashy smash, you know, making sure that they um, that you create like a a, a nice semi mashed potato wannabe. So now that that's good. We're gonna put it over here. And then we're going to uh, we're gonna heat up a pan and we are going to now uh, fry or saute or whatever it's called the onions, then the mushrooms too. And uh, and then the garlic. Which by the way, you do not mix the garlic with the onion because that, that one goes at the at the very end. That was a test, some of you failed. Anyways, uh, we're gonna use butter instead of oil uh, to do this uh, concoction. Could have been anything. Could have been a doctor, engineer, something. Could have done something. Oh, looked like the uh, the pan is getting it's getting pretty hot. So we're going to add the uh, the the butter. You probably just said, oh, that's too much butter, and yeah, maybe, but we're in the south, so. You see that? You see that, that glistening? That's, uh, that's what you want. See how, um, how the... <laughs> Another one for the electric gods. We bring the onion first. Yeah, tranquilo, chingada madre. <laughs> and then we do the uh, the old switcheroo, the flippy flips. You see that? So now the uh, the onion is getting, uh, um, yeah, not this one. Uh, it's it's getting cooked. A happy face. <laughs> it's a happy face. <laughs> All right. So, as you can see, the onion is getting a uh, pretty, pretty golden. It's yellowish now, but with enough heat in just a minute, it'll turn uh, golden. So before that happens, we're gonna add the mushrooms. Just like so. Now you want to make sure to always be uh, be mindful of the pan, so the onions don't get burned, nor the uh, not the mushrooms or the garlic. 
burnt garlic tastes like ass, so you don't want that. At least not right now. You know what I mean? Delicious. Shit. Scrumptious. All right, so now what we're going to do, I'm gonna grab a, a little pot right here. And then we're going to do a fat. Shit. Nice and smooth and this, my friend, is something to chew on. So, we're just gonna dump it there. Dump it, dump it. Just like you dump all your problems on other people that don't give a shit. So, that's there. We're going to, um, we're going to mix it together. Uh, there it is. Camera man. So we're gonna mix it together. And now, I'm gonna create like this little concave, little base, and we're gonna add some salt. Some salt. A little bit, just a, just a sprinkle, like Tinkerbell. Then, you know, we obviously mix it again. There it is. Okay, so, uh, so what we're going to do now, we're gonna grab a uh, plastic wrap. I'm gonna lay it down, like so. Then we're going to cut it. Just like that. And this is going to be the, um, where we put our uh, our potato. So we bring the potato, and we're gonna make a, we're gonna make a a potato a potato looking burrito thing. So we're gonna wrap it, like that. wrap it like that. I'm gonna make like a little bowl. I roll it out, make sure that we create like a, like a little, you know, little potato because this is, a, remember, we're, we're trying to make a, a pork roast. So this has to have that um, type of feel to it. Now that we have the potato, we're gonna put it in the fridge for, um, until it cools off. So give it about 20 minutes, maybe. We've been, We've been making this thing for like close to hour and a half, two hours. In between like peeling the potatoes, uh, burning the thing, cooling the thing. So um, takeout is the, the solution. But we have to, we, we're committed, we're, we're too deep. Anyway, so we're gonna lay uh, another bed of uh, plastic wrap. This time we're gonna make it uh, longer. So we're gonna get some bacon and we're gonna make a little bed uh, that then we will like wrap the, um, the potato with. So we take our potato out of the um, out of the fridge. There's our potato, and we're gonna gently, very gently, lay it on top like that, and then we're going to start wrapping the bacon around it like that. See? Okay, so we went a little, a little too crazy with the. Uh, with the bacon. So the remaining bacon will 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 uh, will 
go there. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna put this in the plastic wrap and we're gonna wrap it again. Just like that. It's nice and compact. Give it a little twist. Make sure that it's nice and tight. Mmm, delicious. Mmm. And then back to the freezer for another 15 minutes. All right. Freezer, like the fridge. That's what I meant. Oh, look Okay, so we're about to take the potato bacon thing out of the oven and we're going to um, we're going to wrap it we're going to to do some nuts with this little string that I have things gonna go according to the plan so just uh, just know that like hey you know what this is one of those times that I have to improvise and make some ghetto -a shit hey we'll done it all right so we're ready to bring the potato. All right, let's uh, let's unwrap this baby. Very, very insanely gentle. You want to be with this thing. All right. Then we're gonna place it. Yeah, this is gonna work out so well. I'm gonna place it right here. Boom. So it's gonna hold the potato. There you go, nice. Nice and pretty. All right, so now we're going to use, we're going to use uh, rosemary. Rosemary to give that fragrance. So, mmm. Smells great. So we're gonna like put it right there so it's like being uh it's uh it's, it's yeah it's doing whatever rosemary does to dishes, you know, make them tastier or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're eating tonight. So we're gonna preheat uh we're heating the oven to four hundred degrees. We're gonna put this baby up. Just in time. Perfect timing. That's that's all we have here. And now we're gonna put the timer for another goddamn 30 minutes to wait. Alright, see you in 30. I guess it's time. I guess it's time. There's the potato baby. All right. Let's uh let's get it out. Let's uh let's give some let's give birth. Shut up. Okay. All right. Cameraman. Hurry the fuck up. All right, let's uh let's see our creation. Let's bask in the grave. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, it almost looks yummy. Mmm. You see that? See that crispy crisp? Ooh, nice. All right, so now we're gonna let it rest for about 10 minutes. But in the meantime, we're going to make, uh, we're gonna make the sauce. So we need a pan for that. Uh, 150 milli milliliters? Yes. So. So we're gonna measure. One. One. Right here. That's good. So one for the cup. 
that's a hundred that's a hundred and fifty milliliters cheers Then we're gonna need 75 milliliters. 75 milliliters of sweet sake. That's about it. And then we're gonna need a little bit of soy sauce. So we're gonna need a little bit of uh, soy sauce. Just like a, like a smirch. Just this much. Boom. Mantequilla. Ahorita. So we're gonna we're gonna whisk it. We're gonna make sure that it like everything is like combining with each other, you know. Uh, we're gonna get some butter. Some pure Irish butter. As you can see, it's uh brand new just uh, we we Gucci up in here so we're gonna grab a little bit of a uh, little bit of butter until it becomes like a like a syrup you know so that's uh, that's what we want we want this to become a syrup type of um, liquid uh, let's let's get a plate for the pork so we can unwrap it take that out take this out take this out Cover everything. Uh, where's my napkin? Oh, interesting. And voila, we got the gotcha pork roast no, no, uh, uh. Ta -da. <laughs> and see this uh see this through all right let's get some of that sauce in there Bon appetit. Mmm. Oh shit. I actually pulled this off. Wow. Okay. I'm actually surprised. Um, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's actually, it's actually, it's actually good. The, uh, the wine, sake, soy sauce, sauce, it really adds a lot. And you can, you can taste the bacon in the, um, in the potatoes and the mushrooms. Really good, actually. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with this. So, thank you so much for watching. This has been, uh, cooking show doing recipes from anime or whatever uh, this took a long ass time like close to three hours so don't do this if you're in a hurry all right so thank you so much for joining like subscribe buy the merch you know what to do all right let us know in the comments down below what other recipe you want me to try 
Most likely I'm not gonna try it because I'm gonna try the ones that are in the book and not in the comment section. All right, bye.